Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Zara. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sunburst. Let's first need to draw a rectangle and then also draw a line. Strain the proportion by holding the make it a straight line by holding the control key and then select both of them and bring up the alignment tool with control shift L and just make sure they're both aligned. Now I'm going to apply a um, mold to this, make ceiling perspective, and then zoom in on this as close as I can get with the control of mouse wheel. And what I want to do is select the shape tool and click on the node here, and then press the um, I'm sorry, just drag this across till it gets in the middle while holding the control key. Grab the other one and drag it into the middle here. And you can see the center point coming up. Gets right there. And release it. And now I should have the shape to make the sun rays with. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the line. Click on it and delete it and also click on the shape and go to arrange and convert to editable shape it's no longer I need that mold so next thing I'm going to do is just align it to the page so control shift L again this time select the page and apply so that it's um, centered horizontal line centrally okay just drag this down a little bit and next I'm going to clone it control K and then flip it um, vertically but you see what happened there we have to change the um, center point so click here set origin then control K clone and flip it and it's going to make this so now all I need to do is make sure that those are touching each other. Looks like they are. Now select both of these and group them together. And there's two ways that you can start your rotation and copying. Either you can press Control K and clone it, and then come up here to the rotation, type in 15, and start that way or you can click on it again and put the object in the rotation mode hold the control key down while you drag with the left mouse button and then tap the right mouse button to make a copy like this might be a little faster um, to do it this way but it's still going to be the same effect so after the sunburst is made what you want to do is group all these together and I'm going to put a small circle in the middle so just grab that and with the control key held down I'll just draw a little circle and now I'm going to add some um, gradients to this so click the fill tool just draw a gradient right here I'm going to change its color. Make sure this node is selected. So I have a little bit of a gradient. And now what I want to do is apply that gradient to the sun rays. So control C for copy. Select the sun rays and control shift A for attributes. Back to the fill tool and take a look. Hold down the shift key. And I'm just going to move this around so it doesn't look exactly like the circle. Drag this in the position. Hold the shift key down to move the gradient around. Okay, now it's ready for a rectangle to go around it. So I'm just going to uh, deselect everything grab a rectangle draw that out about right here and I'm going to make its color this same color on the end here so it kind of fades out so I'll just hold down with the 
left mouse button and drag the color picker over that color. And then when I get the color I want, just release. And next I'm going to press Control B to put this in the back. And then select the um, rectangle and the sunburst and make a clip view. So right click, clip view. And now I'm going to group everything because the circle in the middle is not um, grouped yet. And now you can make the colors lighter, of course, this is really dark, but I just want to give the effect here. You can make this any size now because it's vector. You can stretch it, you can make it smaller. It's not going to uh, decrease the uh, visual quality. So that's how you make a sunburst in Zara. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye now.